day eight to the quarantine reviews, we find our hero at the edge of the earth, Basilosis. So got another slightly older one for you this time around. This came out in 2011 and was Solosis's second album. Um, they've released three more since and if anyone wants me to review those, I'm definitely up for it because this was a really great album to listen through. If you're unfamiliar with Silosis, they're a death metal band from Reading who have a lot of thrash and prog influences going on. On this album in particular, they have major influences from Mastodon, Testament, Odd Inflections of Tool, Cult of Luna is a major one, and Death comes up here and there. Uh, what's really cool about this album is, at least from my perspective listening through it, it's a concept album that focuses around the experiences of a dead king and his personal interactions with the living world, his observations of the general goings-on and his attitudes towards them. What's also really cool is instead of the standard verse-chorus-verse-chorus -chorus format that most bands do, they have a very intriguing free verse format to their songs, and I really appreciate that. There's not an outright chorus in any of their songs, there's just on occasion odd refrains that is really fun to examine because you don't see that in a lot of bands. So once again, I couldn't pick one particular favourite because this was a really solid album. So I'm going to go with three, technically four, but one of those is part. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, once again, I'm not covering just one favourite because there were too many really good tracks on this album, so I'll be covering three this time. Technically four, but two of those are part one and part two, so let's get to it. So the first favourites are Imperial parts one and two. That has a really nice, big, bombastic opening, underlaid with cool, sweeping guitar riffs, a nice powerful chunky bass line and really domineering harsh vocals and strong furious blast beats that increase in rapidity as the song progresses. It really brings forth this idea of domination that is still ephemeral in effect and it gradually emphasizes that idea with part two in calming down and flowing into this more um prog rocky space agey style instrumental and it just gives you this idea of something that has crumbled and broken down to cosmic dust. Next favourite is Where the Sky Ends. That really gives you an idea of the band's individual talents as it's a really cool instrumental that just builds and wraps around you and gives you the idea of a journey through a dark mystical forest a la something that you would come across in Lord of the Rings or Legend. And it just, it really gives you this idea of a ghost that's going on this journey of exploration. And lastly on the favourites is Apparitions. That has a really cool meeting of the minds going on there. It's got very testamenty feel to it. However, unlike on the Prong album No Absolutes, it actually feels in place here. You've got 
The harsh vocals and drumming style typically seen in death metal meeting with the guitar work and bass line that is usually identified in thrash metal and as it comes to a climax it really wraps around all of it and showcases how well those different styles can work together. And lastly, we come to the least favourite, which is actually the last track on the album, From the Edge of the Earth. It's a great track in its own right. It's still identifiably something that would belong in Silosis's work. However, it feels very out of keeping with the rest of the style of the album. It goes much more into prog metal than the rest of the album, and it's it's jarring. Great track, but I feel like it should have been left as a bonus. Edge of the Earth is a great album for anyone who is into death metal and anyone who is wanting to test the waters with heavier music but doesn't want to go into the deep end. Whilst it doesn't end on the strongest of notes, it is still a great album and I wholeheartedly encourage anyone who's into metal to listen to it. Edge of the Earth gets a 5 out of 5. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed what I had to say, don't forget to like, comment and sup <laughs> That's it for this episode. If you liked what I had to say, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and with any luck, we're not going to end up as apparitions.